Hi everyone! Today I'm coming at you with a demo for Anzac biscuits, which are a cookie that are made and eaten in Australia and New Zealand to commemorate Anzac Day, which we talked about in class. So these cookies were made during war times and were made with things that could be rationed and, you know, nothing crazy, nothing out there, you know, all just things that won't go bad in your cabinets. And when you add them together to make your cookie, they are going to be shelf stable for a while. So I've got my mise en place and my mason jars here. I've got one cup of shredded coconut, all-purpose flour, sugar, and oats. We've also got two tablespoons of honey, which in um, Australia, the UK, New Zealand, they will use golden syrup, but that's not very easy to find in this country. So we're subbing in with honey. We're also going to be using baking soda, which when we combine that with the honey, is going to create a really interesting reaction, which I will show you guys later when we combine these on the stove top. But first, we're going to be adding all of our dry ingredients into a large mixing bowl and using a spoon to thoroughly combine. So now into a small saucepan, we're going to heat that over medium-high heat, just giving my dog a little hello, she's always there, she's in a lot of videos if you guys notice. So we are going to put one stick of butter to our saucepan to melt. I cut it up into chunks to make it melt a little bit faster, and I am just going to whisk that to combine. So what I'm doing now is adding the boiling water into my uh, little jar of honey and I'm going to stir that up and that's going to make the honey a lot easier to come out of the jar. I gave you guys packets of honey so that'll be nice and easy to get in there. Our butter is mostly melted. I went in there and started to whisk it with my spoon before realizing that I should switch to a proper whisk. So that's what I went in with next. So our honey is going to be very acidic. So when we add in that into our butter mixture, think of the fact that we're adding an acid into this butter mixture. And then when we add in the baking soda, it's the same reaction that causes, you know, that classic science experiment of a baking soda volcano. And that's where these cookies get their lift from, is the reaction of the baking soda and the honey. So there we go, I'm gonna add in my honey and my water. We add in that water just to thin everything out a little bit and make that reaction a little bit easier to occur. So I've got my honey in there, uh, and my sticky fingers. Then we're going to whisk the honey into the warm butter. Really whisk it in there, you want it to be thoroughly combined. It should change the color of your butter a little bit. My honey was very dark, so it changed the honey almost to like an amber color. Then we're going to add in that baking soda and the reaction is going to begin immediately. Look at those bubbles immediately. So I'm switching views here and as you whisk, the uh, the butter is going to get foamier and foamier and it's going to rise a lot. So keep your eye on this, do this quickly because it could rise right out of the saucepan. So now look at that, look how much it rose. Uh, we're going to add in our foamy butter mixture into our dry ingredients and really get everything you can out of the pot there. And then use a large spoon to combine. This is 
what your mixture is going to look like when it's fully incorporated. It is going to be a bit lumpy and that's because of the oatmeal in there. So to shape our cookies, we're going to take one rounded tablespoon and roll it between our hands to get a nice shape. And then we're going to take that ball and uh, put it onto a prepared cookie sheet. The cookie sheet needs to be lined with a parchment paper or greased so your cookies do not stick. So these cookies will spread quite a bit, so make sure to place them at least 12 inches apart. So you can see I'm rolling those cookies up, placing them down on the pan, and then flattening it with my hands. Once you've got all your cookies on your pan, we are going to bake these up at 350 degrees for 8 to 10 minutes. Because these don't have eggs in them, you can kind of pick how crispy you'd like your cookies. The ones that are quite light in color were baked for 8 minutes, and the ones that are darker in color baked for 10 minutes. So these are the cookies. I hope you guys enjoy them. They were super yummy, and I can't wait to see how you guys do.